Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're at my hometown, Utah Springs, Kansas, where we're, we're filming several different segments uh, this week. One of them happens to deal with air cool torches, and I get this question an awful lot. And most of the, the torches that I recommend are light duty, air cool light duty. Like this one right here is a 9F, and you'll hear me talk about the 9F all the time. It's a wonderful torch but it only has 125 amp capacity. And what that means, it's, it's designed for 125 amps and less. Can you use it for 160 amps? Well, sure you can. Will it get hot? Yes, it will. So if you're constantly using more than 160 amps or more than 125 amps, you may have to step it up one torch size. And that torch size would be this torch right here. And we call this a 17H. It's a 200 amp, and sometimes it's called a trim liner, a TL210. Sometimes it's a TL26. It's just a phrase that we use. There's, there's three phrases uh, that describe this torch. They're all the same. But if you hear that term H at the back end, it's not a standard 17. Now, standard 17 is only a 150 amp torch. So what we've done is uh, we're testing a 125 amp torch and a 200 amp torch. And if you'll notice, the cables themselves are also heavier duty. This one's heavier duty than this. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up on this machine, we've got a, uh, an Alpha TIG 200X, and we're going to run a test on this for one minute on each of these torches. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this up to 160 amps AC and hold it there. Now my tungsten's only 332 diameter, so it'll hold up under the 160 amps. You start getting above that, it'll start deteriorating. But after one minute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the infrared right on the middle of the handle, and right now it's showing 84 degrees. And I'm also going to shoot right up on the head. The head is where it's going to be the hottest, and it's showing 83 degrees, so that's pretty consistent. So just know that both of these torches are cool, basically the same temperature to start with. So let's see what one minute of welding at 160 amps with this little torch will do. Let me get my gear on, I'll set the timer, and uh, you can join me. Okay, now I'm going to start off with the small torch. This is the 9F. And just to keep consistency, I'm going to go ahead and use my Easy Wipe to wipe down the surface, make sure there's no grime or grit. And it's uh, isopropyl alcohol on here. And this just is a big aluminum block. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. And start the arc. Okay, that was one minute, and I could actually feel the torch handle getting a little bit warm. Okay, I'm at uh, about 102, 102 degrees on the handle, midway up, and on the head itself, I'm at 206 degrees, 212, 214. So yeah, a lot of heat right here, and you can see some smoke coming up. That's actually coming from the inside of my uh, contaminated tungsten so it, it's not the torch burning up but th there you go and, and the heat seems to be uh, seems to be climbing Temp temperature is showing 228 230 degrees let's go back down to mid handle it's right at 100 degrees so I had I had one finger up here on the neck and I could feel it warming up. So let's go ahead and do the same test and let's do it with this torch here. It's much larger, 200 amp torch. So uh, let me change, put my gear on and we'll reset the clock.
Okay, so that was one minute on the heavy duty torch. I'm going to give you a reading real quick. And it's the handles in the, uh, the 100, about the same temperature. And the torch head, much cooler. It's 172, 176 degrees. So it hasn't saturated all the heat in this head. So that's really what gives it the extra mass and extra duty cycle. So uh, without a doubt, uh, both of these torches work really well. Uh, this one just is your heavy duty version. And again, I was using 332 diameter tungsten. Uh, with this machine, uh, 200 amps is the max that it'll go. So uh, that's probably the best test for it. So uh, like I say, you have choices. Now just bear in mind that anytime you order this torch, make sure you get the 200 amp cable and make sure you get the right quick disconnect. Uh, it's very important. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.